Yo, what up, y'all, man? All right, we made it, man. 2024, it is here, y'all, and I got 13 plus solid tips and tricks, man, that you might not have known about that you can do here with your trusty old PS5 Slim or with the OG PS5 as well. It's gonna work for those two. So let's go ahead and get this year popping off right, baby. And you already see it, man. You know, go blue, got the hat on. We rocking this all day, baby. <laughs> let's go ahead and kick it off, man. Start off with the sign on screen. Now, did you guys know that you can set your PlayStation here to actually bypass right past the screen and get right? into the game man so all you guys got to do is go into your settings you're gonna go to users and accounts you're gonna go to login settings and you're gonna turn on login ps5 automatically and now when you guys boot up your ps5 it's gonna skip right past this screen it's gonna log you right into the console getting you into the game and fast baby because it's all about speed and efficiency around here <laughs> now speaking of booting up right let me go ahead and show you guys a secret that you might not have known about when it comes to the rest mode on your ps5 now if you guys don't know the purpose of rest mode on your ps5 it's basically meant for you guys to have like faster like boot up times as well as for you guys to be able to charge your controllers if you got anything plugged into the ports here on the front or either on the back it's also meant to go ahead and install any game updates that might occur as well this way anytime you boot up your ps5 man you ain't got to wait for those crazy just ridiculous long gaming update times man because you already know them cod updates y'all can get they can get crazy. <laughs> and the last thing that it can be used for is PlayStation Remote Play. So if you guys have something like a PlayStation Portal or if you guys are using something like PS Remote Play, then you guys can also uh, have access to this as well and boot it up and put it into that rest mode as well. All right, but check this out. Did you know that you can also go ahead and press the power button here on your console here and it's gonna automatically put into rest mode. But let's say you guys wanted to go ahead and completely turn it off from rest mode, but you don't really feel like having to boot this bad boy all the way back up just to go to the quick setting menu and then power it all the way down that way listen all you guys got to do is just press and hold on the power button right here on the front of the console until you hear that beeping sound and then it's going to fully shut off your console the right way and i can't tell you man how many times before i done had to boot this whole thing up just to shut it down which is kind of counterintuitive if that makes sense but anyway now the next thing i want to go ahead and talk about is did you guys know on your ps5 that you can create something called game list or gaming folders in your gaming library let me go ahead and show you what i'm talking about all right so if we go ahead and go over to our game library and under your collections here is where we can create these game lists that i have here now what this does is allow you guys to group a certain set of games that you guys personally like to play and it's basically just going to keep everything organized for you so let's say you guys have multiple sports game on your playstation and you want to go ahead and put them all into a certain game list or a gaming folder similar to like the folders on something like your iphone or an android device so in order for you guys to do this all you guys have to do is scroll down to your list of games and go over using the left on your d-pad and go down to where it says create game list now you're going to go ahead and choose a group of the games that you guys like to play so just add all the ones that you feel like that needs to be in one certain group and then you're going to go ahead and tap on add and then just rename that group list and then you're going to choose how you want to have it sorted and then you can sort it from a to z or you can sort it by when you guys bought it and then just like that you're going to see it added to the top of your game and library collection for way quicker access to all of those games versus having to try to scroll through and try to find them especially if you got as many games as i got which is going to be a crazy growing list this year so be on the lookout for some streaming happening and also some other stuff that's going to be happening on a whole another channel so just be on the lookout for that man but anyway speaking of games one of the things that you guys should do especially before you open up that wallet to pay for any and i mean any games when it comes to the ps5 and that is look at the brand new five star rating system that is now in the playstation store before you guys actually open up that wallet and spend your money along with how many reviews that actually made up that rating which is a big deal because if it has like five stars but only three people actually rated it then you know i don't know if that's really worth you guys spending your money just yet because that could just honestly be the developers you know just kind of boosting up their ratings on their games because you know they don't want to spend the time in it but if it's something like hogwarts legacy with four and a half stars and over 24,000 people then you know I'm more likely to go ahead and drop my money on that game than the one with three people with a five star rating because listen gaming developers y'all ain't slick I see what y'all be doing out there <laughs> now this was a new feature man that was added because we all asked for something like this to be able to tell us if the games are good or not versus having to you know try to go out there find videos 
and stuff like that because it's no different than when we go to Amazon and we're shopping for something online. Reviews are everything. So to me, man, this is a clutch feature and it's going to save us a ton of money and time because if it's a two out of a five star, then you already know it ain't for me. <laughs> now, I'm glad PlayStation, man, to be honest with y'all, added this feature on this console here because this is going to help big time and save you guys a lot of money. And if you guys are wondering, yes, you can only leave a review if you guys have actually purchased the game. So that way, you know, PlayStation kind of thought about this as far as people worrying about spam in the review section uh, that may not have actually even played or even bought the game just because, you know, people just like to hate just to hate for no reason. Now, me personally, I thought this was a solid move on PlayStation's part to protect, like, the integrity of those reviews. Listen, Sony, I see you, baby. I see you over there doing your thing. Listen, I respect it. <laughs> now, staying on the games here, as you guys know, man, this console here comes with one terabyte of SSD storage, but you already know, man, there's pre-installed software on here that brings it down to just over like 820 gigabytes of storage or somewhere in that range. So what that means is I highly, highly recommend that you guys get an M.2 NVMe SSD just to be able to keep the party going, baby, because you don't want to be like me and how I was with my OG PS5 to the point where I ran out of storage on that bad boy so many times that I had to like delete a game just to reinstall another game. Like it's a, it's a never ending battle, y'all. <laughs> but to be honest, man, the reason why it personally took me so long to get an M.2 SSD was because at the time when they first came out, the prices were just ridiculous because, you know, everything was on the rise as far as during, you know, those times where everybody was locked up, like everything was just at an all time high. But now those prices, y'all, have come way down. But don't be like me, y'all. I'm telling you, go ahead and get you one, man, because again, you ain't trying to be that person out there deleting games just to try to reinstall another one. So the one that I picked up here, man, is the one that you guys are seeing right up here on the screen. Super easy to install. I'll have a direct link for you guys down in the description section below, along with this whole tool set here that I picked up here that I highly recommend you guys get. I have a link for this down in the description section below because it's going to help you guys unscrew the M.2 cover that's on the inside of the PS5 Slim here uh, to be able to get in there and to be able to install the SSD. So highly recommend that tool kit because it's also going to help with you guys if you guys ever want to open this up completely to be able to fully clean this. And if you guys want to watch that video on how to do that, I'll have that right up here for you guys to check out. So all you guys got to do, man, is just take the cover of your PS5 off here. And then right here, you're going to see the M.2 cover. You're going to go ahead and remove that. You're going to slide the new M.2 SSD into the NVMe slot. Screw it right into place, man, and close it up with the M.2 cover. And then you're going to put the PlayStation plate right back on here, man. And you're just going to be good to go. Now, the next step that you guys must do is going to be over on the console. So what it's going to do is going to pop up here on the screen for you guys to be able to format the drive. And then all this thing is doing is just optimizing the M.2 drive to your console in itself so that way it's going to work smoothly and work perfectly then you want to go ahead and go into your settings installation location and set your ps5 and ps4 games and apps to download directly to that newly installed ssd trust me you want to do this because if you don't nothing's going to be installing onto that drive. Now, the reason why I do this instead of filling up my internal storage on my system here is because you don't really want to like get close to filling up your internal hard drive only to risk having hard drive failures and different things like that because you don't want that blue screen to death. So this way, man, now anything you guys download is going to go directly to that SSD instead of filling up your internal hard drive, which can cause some long-term issues. Now, if you guys are wondering how much storage can you actually buy when it comes to the PS5 and the PS5 Slim, Listen, you can go all the way up to eight terabytes, but just so you know, that eight terabytes is going to cost you a grown, grown, grown man bag. So I recommend staying somewhere in a medium grown man bag and scoop up like, like an extra one to two terabyte SSD instead. But hey, if you guys think that you need eight terabytes and you got the grown, 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 grown man bag, then hey, who the hell am I to stop you, right? Get your roll on, player. <laughs> now, the next thing you have to make sure you guys set up, and even if you don't, have a PlayStation portal, and that is remote play settings. Now, the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because even though it's tough right now to go ahead and find a PlayStation portal that's out there right now, you can easily buy something like a backbone that is designed. Let me get my backbone here real quick because I'm literally going to be doing a video on this. So, you can easily grab something like the backbone here that's designed for your iPhone as another playable option. And 
And I do got a whole video that's going to be coming up on here pretty soon because I've secretly been using the backbone here over the PlayStation Portal for a few weeks now. And uh, I got some interesting thoughts and takes on it. But more on that going to be in the next video. If, you know, if it's out right now, it'll be linked right up here. But to set up the option to be able to use the PlayStation Remote Play app on your iPhone or your Android or your tablet, you must do these steps right here first. So you want to go ahead and go into your settings. You're going to go to system. You're going to go to remote play and make sure you have remote play enabled. This is going to allow you guys to be able to access your PS5 Slim from anywhere in the world. Now, in order for you guys to be able to connect this, it must be turned on. Now, if you guys want access to be able to wake your PS5 when it's in rest mode that we talked about earlier in this video, then these next steps are something that you guys are going to want to do because in this state, it's going to be in a low power state while also being connected to the internet for remote access. The one last step you want to do in order to be able to wake this from the rest mode is you want to go to power settings under system menu and where it says features available in rest mode, you want to go ahead and enable the option stay connected to the internet. This is going to make sure that even when it's in rest mode, you can have access to the internet for it to be able to reach it via the internet. One tip that I also recommend that you guys do when you guys are playing on remote play and that is unplug the HDMI from your console to the monitor or TV that you guys have that it's rendering out that feed to because it is also trying to render that feed as well as render the feed that's on your handheld device that I have right here or your iPhone or your Android device. Trust me y'all, this will drastically increase the connectivity of that device and give you much smoother gameplay, man. Trust me, you're going to thank me later. Now, this next feature right here, y'all, is kind of like an advanced feature that I like, even though it has some slight issues. But listen, I'm rooting for it, man. I'm rooting for it to get better, and that is accessing Discord from the PS5. Now, between my friends and I, we use this feature like all the time in order for us to be able to game chat between each other since we're all on various platforms like PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So, being able to use Discord, y'all, is clutch man because one thing that I hate when you guys are playing games like Fortnite or Call of Duty Warzone whenever you guys are in between like loading screens and stuff like that the game chat in game chat literally cuts out and you got to wait until the game loads back up before you can hear and be able to talk to each other again but if all of your friends are in discord you can connect up that way and be able to chat and trust me y'all it is seamless let me show you what I'm talking about so in order for you guys to set this up obviously you must have the discord app downloaded on either your computer or on your smartphone I typically personally use my smartphone since it's kind of a quick and easier way to be able to do it. So to connect it up, man, all you guys got to do is go into your settings. You're going to go to users and accounts on your PS5. You're going to go to link services and go down to Discord. And using the app is going to walk you through the entire setup for you guys to be able to connect it up. But this next step is how you guys are going to be able to get audio from the app on your phone to your PS5. So whatever server you guys have set up for your squad, you want to go ahead and go in there and under voice channels, you're going to tap on there. Now here, do not, do not tap on join voice. All you want to do is tap on speaker icon and tap on transfer to PlayStation and then select the PlayStation in the network and it's going to go ahead and join up with that audio. It's going to pull that audio right from your phone, right into your headphones that you guys are using for audio onto your PlayStation and trust me y'all, the audio sounds crispy. Now, I do have to mention that for some reason, the audio, and I don't know why, but for some reason the audio seems to like cut out sometime for PlayStation users but for the most part it's solid so if you guys are playing COD or if you're playing Fortnite or any cross play style games with voice chat built in I highly recommend you guys check out and use discord instead trust me y'all it is so much better but if you guys are playing COD one thing I do want you guys to understand is that you will lose out on proximity chat features so just keep that in mind if that's a big deal for you also if you guys like to play music for from your Spotify application on the PlayStation or Apple of music it also won't allow you guys to be able to do both so just keep that in mind as well all right now this next tip that i got for y'all man and that is to get a dual sense edge pro controller that i got right here now i know a lot of you guys out there are like see kid bro this controller here costs $200. Listen, I get that, but hear me out, y'all. This controller right here is so damn good, y'all, if you guys are PlayStation users. Like, it is literally my favorite controller that I've ever used, and I've tried Battle Beaver and all of those, obviously next to the Nintendo 64 controller, because when you're using that with GoldenEye, 
it is the GOAT, y'all. <laughs> but what I like about the DualSense S Pro controller here is the fact that, you know, if you guys do get the infamous controller stick drift, instead of having to buy an entirely new controller for $50, for 50 or 60 bucks, you can just spend $20 and swap out both of these joysticks if you guys want to, instead of having to pay for a whole controller. Also, I like the fact that we get customizations on here to be able to control and reprogram any buttons on this controller. And it's super easy using the software that's integrated integrated into the PS5 as well as the PS5 Slim and being able to easily just switch, you know, different gaming profiles, which is clutch because I have one set for God of War, which that Valhalla is just kicking my ass right now. Like legit, I'm playing that on the toughest mode and I'm having to start all the way over, like back at the beginning gate. It's getting me upset, y'all. Like, I don't even know. Like, just give us a save point. <laughs> but anyway, I also got one set for Call of Duty Warzone as well, where I use my paddles here on the back. Like, I use these, like, a lot. And if you guys are interested where I got these red ones from, I have a link for that down in the description section below that you guys can check out. But definitely, man, if you guys are competitive gamers, like you play Fortnite, uh, Apex Legends, Warzone, stuff like that, highly recommend you guys check out the PlayStation Pro, the PlayStation DualSense Edge Pro Controller. Now, now the next one here is probably one of the tips and tricks that I personally use the most and it's probably going to be yours too and that is if you guys didn't know on your controller here if you guys just press the triangle button anywhere within your main menu screen on your PlayStation it's going to take you straight up to the settings area the fastest now this way you don't have to scroll all the way through all of your games and applications that you guys have stored just to go and access those settings in the top right corner you just press the triangle and it takes you right there trust me y'all it's going to save you so much time and it's going to become muscle memory. Now, another quick tip that I got for you guys that you might not have known about, and that is if you guys press and hold on the PS button here on your controller, it's a quicker way to go ahead and shut off your controller. Now, the reason why most people want to use something like this is if you guys have it paired to, let's say, your smartphone, if you guys are using a remote play app or your tablet or something like that, a lot of times when you shut that off, it's going to leave this controller on. So the fastest way to do it, just pressing this PlayStation logo and then just like that, man, it's going to shut off the controller, saving you battery life on your controller because we all know these controllers don't last as long as we want them to. Now, another thing here, did you guys know that your PS5 controller here has gyroscope that's built in and you can access it whenever you guys are typing to make like typing on it way faster. Now to do this, you just make sure a keyboard is on the screen and you just press down on the L and R3 buttons on your controller. And this is going to enable the gyroscope for you guys to be able to type a whole lot faster. It's going to pop up a cursor right on the screen and you can just use it as a faster way to type if you want, or you can just use it to try to impress your friends and act like you knew all about it before I just told you in this video. <laughs> and the last feature that I'm not sure most people out there even knew that this is a thing, did you guys know that your PlayStation has voice assistant that's built right into the console, just like a Hey Google or a Hey Siri, so you guys can actually use those things and say like, Hey PlayStation, clip that, or Hey PlayStation, capture the last 15 seconds of gameplay, or you can have it even launch open games or control music and all of that different stuff right from your console just using your voice. So to me, I personally think it's a dope feature when you guys are in a moment or you did something dope within the game and you don't want to have to go all the way through the menu option to be able to capture something. You can just keep playing and then just say, hey, hey, PlayStation, capture the last 30 seconds of gameplay and then boom, it's going to save it right to your, uh, it's going to save it right to your library. Or you can use it to be able to power off your PS5 or put it in the rest mode. So to enable this, all you guys got to do is go to settings. You're going to go to voice command preview and enable voice command here. Now all you guys gotta do is just say, hey PlayStation, and ask it to do something, and it's gonna continue to learn and get better the more you guys use it. But that's just some of the tips and tricks, man, that you guys probably didn't know that you could do with your PlayStation and PlayStation Slim. Now I got 21 plus more tips and tricks that you can check out right up here if you guys uh, wanna see some more of those. If you found this video helpful, man, and you like the vibe that I bring over here, and you guys wanna see us hit that 200K subscriber goal by the end of this year, or maybe we can do it by August. I don't know, man. It all depends on, you know, if you guys are rocking and, you know, rocking and vibing with the channel, man. So go ahead and hit that like button right now and click on that subscribe button down below and join the home team, man. See you guys in the next one, squad. We out. And, uh, you know, go blue. <laughs>